the gospel needs a little explanation. It is understandable that there were sheep and oxen and doves in the temple because those animals were offered as sacrifice. Pero ang tanong ay, bakit may nagpapalit ng pera? Why were there money changers? Sa airport meron. Sa bangko meron. Pero sa templo, bakit may nagpapalit ng pera? Ganito po yun. Maraming kudyo ang nakatira sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. And they all went to the temple in Jerusalem in order to worship. So they had different coins. They had different money, currency. But they could not buy animals for sacrifice. So near the temple, there were money changers in order to, please mark the word, in order to help those who wanted to buy animals for sacrifice. They were there in order to help those who wanted money to buy animals for the sacrifice. Sa halip na kung saan-saan papupunta, nandoon na po ang tagapalit ng pera para makabili sila ng hayop para sa iaalay sa templo. It was originally intended to help others. And then after years, it became help yourself. It was no longer to help others offer sacrifice. It was no longer in order to help others buy the animals for sacrifice. They were already becoming obstacles for worship. From being helpful, they became obstacles. From being other-centered, they became self-centered. At ito na po ang sitwasyon. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka na nakakatulong, nakakaistorbo ka pa. Hindi ka na nakakatulong, lumapit ang tao sa Diyos, ikaw pa ang nagiging sagabal para makalapit sila. Therefore, the Lord said to them, Take them out because you don't need these in order to worship God. You can now worship God directly. Konting paliwanag pa po. Pagdating po ng Biyernes Santo, isusulat sa Ebanghelyo, that the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom. Anong ibig sabihin din po noon? Ang ibig sabihin noon ay wala nang lihim ang Diyos. Ang ibig sabihin noon, wala nang sikreto ang banal. Ang ibig sabihin noon, lahat pwede nang pumasok. Lahat kita na ng kanilang mata. Wala nang kortina, wala nang, wala nang takip para makita natin talaga ang kabanalan ng Diyos. Medyo mabigat po yung explanation, pero iisa lang po ang mensahe ngayong linggo. Ang ibig sabihin lang po ay, mayroon tayong tungkulin na tulungan ang bawat isa na mapalapit sa Diyos. It is our Christian obligation to bring others to God, it is our Christian obligation to bring God to people. It is our mission to bring people to God and to bring God to people. When you do not bring people to God and when you do not bring God to people, you are an obstacle for the mission of God. At ang ibig sabihin po noon, Yung Ebanghelyo ay para sa atin din. Sasabihin sa atin, Nagsisimba ka kunwari tuwing linggo. Donate ng donate ka sa charity. Nagrorosaryo ka sa bahay ninyo. Pero 
hindi ka naman tumutulong para, para mapalapit yung kapitbahay mo sa Diyos. Hindi ka tumutulong at pinapaalis mo pa yung mga tao palayo sa simbahan. The Lord is going to say to us, No more. No more. Because the curtain of the temple has been torn. No more hidden secrets. The holiness of God is now revealed and we can see with our eyes. Ngayong umaga, ipila tayo, tatanggap ng komunyon. Walang takip, kitang-kita ng ating mata, how holy is the Lord. At wala lang takip, hindi lang walang takip, kundi lalasahan pa natin. We can taste the goodness of the Lord. Nothing should stop you from approaching the Lord. And no one should stop others from going to the Lord. Our duty, bring others to God. Our other duty, bring God to others. At the sunset of our lives, we will be judged according to that. Did you bring people to the Lord? And did you bring the Lord to people? Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube. And I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.